Oculus Airlink is live, it is here available for you to try now. For Airlink to work, you require an Oculus Quest 2 and version 28 of the software on both your Oculus headset and on the PC app. To find what version your Oculus headset is on, check the About section and you should see a number here. If it says 28, you are good to go. If you do not have version 28, I've put a link for you to sideload it down below, but I'd only advise that if you know what you're doing. In the Oculus app to find out what version you have, go to Settings, General, and scroll to the bottom and you should see a number here. It says 28, you're good to go. If you do not have version 28, what you do is go to the beta tab, then enable public test channel. Make sure that is turned on and you should hopefully get version 28. Once you have version 28 on your headset and on your computer app, you're going to want to be in the Oculus PC app, go to settings, then go to beta and turn on the AirLink toggle you can see down at the bottom. This will only last for 24 hours, so you'll need to do this the next day if you want to play your AirLink again, but make sure this is enabled. If you do not see the AirLink section at the bottom of your beta page, what you can do is sign out of the Oculus app and then sign back in, and then it should pop up for you. Now, turn on your Quest 2 headset and then go to the menu. In here, go to settings and then scroll down to experimental features. In here, you should see a section called AirLink. Make sure that you turn that on. When you do this, you should see a little pop-up telling you that the requirements that you need to play AirLink successfully. Everyone should be able to get it working, but it doesn't mean you'll get it working well. So I'll go through at the end of this what settings you need for your Wi-Fi home network to get this working. Make sure that both your computer and your headset are on the same local network, so they're on the same Wi-Fi settings in your house. You can still be using Ethernet from your computer. In fact, you need to use Ethernet from your computer to get a good connection. If this is all worked correctly, you should be able to see your computer here. Click on it to connect with your Oculus headset, and then you should be able to see the Oculus Rift dashboard. From here, you can launch your Oculus Rift games or your Steam VR games. After you've launched AirLink for the first time, you'll be able to find AirLink in your quick actions menu like the Oculus Link would have appeared beforehand. If you want to use the Oculus Link cable again, you will need to go into experimental settings and disable the AirLink. Some things that you will require to get this to work. You will require a dual band Wi-Fi router. This means that you need a 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz band for your Wi-Fi router. Your Oculus Quest 2 will go onto your 5 GHz band. Make sure that it is the only device on your 5 GHz band and all other devices are on the 2.4 GHz. If you have other devices on the 5 GHz, that will interfere with the signal and give you a worse quality performance. You will also be required to have your computer plugged into your router via Ethernet and hopefully be less than 20 feet away from your router. Be as close as possible really for the best performance that you can get with this. We would recommend a minimum of a Wi-Fi 5 router, but if you have Wi-Fi 6, it will be performed so much better. Be warned that you may need to upgrade your Wi-Fi router as some provided by your internet service provider are not that great quality. We would recommend any of the Asus mesh network routers, but these are a little bit expensive. That should be you all set up, good to go. AirLink is new, there could be some bugs here and there, but in the following weeks we're going to be doing reviews between AirLink and the Oculus Link cable and AirLink versus Virtual Desktop. We need another week or two to do some testing on this to properly compare them. It'll be good for everyone to know if AirLink is as good as Virtual Desktop, better than Virtual Desktop, can it compare to the Oculus Link cable? We'll be checking that out in the next few weeks. Make sure to check out our Discord server where we are growing our virtual reality community. We will now be streaming on YouTube every Wednesday night from 6pm. This week we are going to be playing Population 1 game, so come along and have some fun. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, that would really mean a lot. Thank you very much.